eternal life, the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the optional memorial of St. Anselm, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. And we offer this Mass for Sun Tran and the repose of the souls of Sun and Dolores and Vicente Tanguma. I will look after my sheep, says the Lord, and I will appoint a shepherd to pasture them. And I, the Lord, will be their God. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who led the Bishop St. Anselm, to seek out and teach the depths of your wisdom, grant we pray that our faith in you may so aid our understanding that what we believe by your command may give the light to our hearts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, and bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with string. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia! The Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia! 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 The Lord be with you. 
with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven, except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Anselm famously said that I do not understand in order to believe, but I believe in order to understand. Meaning that his mind was at the service of his faith and indeed it's a reasonable faith we're not called to turn off our minds when we become believers but rather to see the depth of god's wisdom and that's a great thing to look beyond the surface we do this all the time when we meet new people we give them the benefit of the doubt and we want to think the best of them and and whenever we see something on the surface that we don't agree with we always want to look beyond the surface to the depth of that person to the richness that is there in the person, right? Just under the surface in many ways. And so it is with our faith, in that these things that we are experiencing, whatever we experience really, has a depth to it because of our faith in Christ. There is more to this than we simply see on the surface. And our opening prayer brings that out in many ways. It says, O God, who led the Bishop St. Anselm to seek out and teach the depths of your wisdom. So there's a depth there of the wisdom of God that pervades all things. So grant, we pray, that our faith in you may so aid our understanding, so that our faith may aid our understanding, our, our knowledge, our, our intellect, that what we believe by your command and so then there is that will being brought in. So the will that seeks to obey the command of God, to be obedient, that is to listen to God, may give the light to our hearts. And so our intellect, our faith, helps to aid our intellect so that our will may aid our hearts. That our will may serve our hearts in many ways that what we believe by your command may give the light to our hearts. And there it is, the whole person, the, the, the fullness of the person, the depth of the person, both in their, their mind, and in their faith, in their intellect, in their will, and in their hearts, in their emotional life, in their um, response, in, in a joyful response. To love the Lord your God, right? With all your heart, mind, body, and, and soul. And it is there as well that, aided by the prayers of St. Anselm and given the grace of the Holy Spirit and adoption uh, through Christ, right, um, into the family of the Father, we may attain these things that our whole being not just a, a surface level, but everything, right, may be touched by the grace of God. And that's a prayer for us today, and a prayer that we make along with St. Anselm.
Brothers and sisters, and let us offer our prayers to God, our loving Father. We pray for our Holy Father Francis, and for our Bishop Daniel, Auxiliary Bishop Mario, our retired Bishop Emeritus Raimundo. The Lord will grant him strength and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those in public office all those tasked with the governance of cities and states. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, all those dedicated to the care of the sick, all those who are part of businesses called essential. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves, that our faith may increase our understanding, and that we may be obedient to God's word and rejoice in it with our whole heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those, all those who have died, those who attend to the dying, those who attend to the dead, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you know our needs. Grant us these our petitions if they are according to your will, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, O God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for the earth took of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, O God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the vine of the human hands. Will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the Lord has set the sacrifice at your hands, and the praise and glory of his name, for our good and to all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord that we may always find delight in these Paschal Mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, the Lord you get more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all your credit rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we are brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing to the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as you celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, we become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Anselm, and with all the saints, unto whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, Mario, his auxiliary Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. We assume you gracious use of the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. May we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Precetus ad rebus moniti, in divini institutioni formati, ad emus dicere, Pater noste, qui es in celis, sanctificertum nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sic in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidiano da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitibus debitolibus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libra nos a malum. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Not that in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and in graciously grant for peace and unity in accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and pointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah. At thy feet, O my Jesus, I prostrate myself, I offer thee the repentance of my contrite heart, which is humbled in its nothingness and in thy holy presence. I adore thee in the sacrament of thy love, ineffable Eucharist. I desire to receive thee into the poor dwelling that my heart offers thee. While waiting for the happiness of sacramental communion, I wish to possess thee in spirit. Come to me, O my Jesus, as I, for my part, am coming to thee. May thy love embrace my whole being in life and in death. I believe in thee, I hope in thee, I love thee. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange, by which you have redeemed us, may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Faith seeking understanding. Are there things about our faith that we don't yet understand? Of course. Uh, Perhaps you have a question, um, you can write down in the, in the comments here. I'll try to answer uh, at the earliest possible time. Uh, perhaps there's a question you might want to message me on Facebook. Um, I try to be good about checking those messages, but sometimes they don't pop up in my in my uh, notifications. I gotta go when I check them again. I end up being an hour or two late, or a day on those responses. So uh, if you have any questions, please um, put that forward. I'm preparing a video on the Eucharistic prayer uh, that we are praying that here at the altar. Hopefully that'll be available to you uh, soon. Pray for me and I'll be praying for you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia, Qui aque meruris di portare, Alleluia, Resurrexit, Sicur dixit, Alleluia, Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Carli tale vico Maria, Alleluia, Dios resit omnos vere, Alleluia. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke and be humbly praying to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, for the power of God cast into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Anselm, pray for us. St. Anthony, pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. And Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy. <laughs>